everyone welcome back to my youtube channel thank you guys so much for joining me if you're new here my name is holly i make food and fitness content and if you're not new here welcome back to the channel happy sunday everyone so i'm back i'm back in la it felt very strange coming back from jamaica number one i was probably delirious because i think i ended up I think it took over 24 hours in the end to get home. Um, there was a storm in Miami that basically threw off like everybody's flight. So even everybody going to London was having a nightmare. I had a nightmare literally coming back to LA. Yeah, it was a little bit chaotic. But I think with those things, you just kind of have to like accept the situation for what it is. Being upset and stressing over it isn't going to change anything. And everybody was safe. Everybody's home now. So yeah, I'm back in LA. I thought this week we would do a spend the week with me. I've got quite a lot of things going on, including first thing this morning. I'm actually heading to a gifting suite. So I don't think they really do these in the UK. Maybe they do, maybe like I just wasn't on the radar for them, but luckily I am on the radar for them here. So a gifting suite is essentially a brand hosts like a little event and it's basically a shop and you get to go in and just take anything you want. Like, I think that's how it works. Like obviously within reason, you can't be like snagging everything, but White Fox are hosting one this morning and this one is based around kind of like their tracksuits and like lounge sets. So it's basically like a tracksuit and lounge giveaway, free for all. So that's where we're gonna head off to this morning. I'm so excited. My really good friend Jessica going as well. So it's basically a nice excuse to have a girly catch up. And they are actually having another one next week for Coachella. So again, tying in with this vlog, Coachella is flying around the corner. Like, I don't even want to say that like it's normal. I did go to Coachella last year, but even the thought of going to Coachella still like makes me feel so like, what? Because this is a festival that I grew up stalking on social media like every year when it would get around this time i would be constantly refreshing my pages to see what people were wearing what prep they were doing for coachella and my coachella prep is beginning this week starting tomorrow we are going to do a little bit of a coachella hair transformation it's nothing wild you know me i'm not going to be doing any like pinks or blues or anything like that but i'll fill you in on that one we're on our way tomorrow i feel like it's flying around and my best friend lucy is going to fly out for it and of course i'm going to vlog it all as well so i'm really just so excited because i loved it so much last year but i didn't really get to like experience the full festival i only went for like half the saturday and half the sunday just because the person i was with was driving so things like that but this time around i get to go and experience friday saturday sunday i'm going to be taking you guys with us to some of the coachella parties that we're going to just like the whole experience just feels like it's going to be amplified but this isn't the point of this vlog i'm just not going to be able to stop talking about it because i'm just so excited but i do need to head off so yeah let's head off to the gifting suite actually insane so the general gist is you get to pick eight things obviously you have to get a glass of champagne you get to pick um eight pieces so there's like kind of like formal wear and then they've got those tracksuits and they said they don't need any more tracksuits but it can be literally only picking up tracksuits team so jess actually had another gifting suite like a girly so i dropped her off at that and it's actually on melrose so i'm just gonna go for a little straw while we wait for her and then we'll go for lunch so me and you are gonna hit up some shops on melrose i'm not sure how long she'll be it kind of depends on like <laughs> how much she's allowed to take i'm sure i actually can't believe that like the fact that you were just like allowed to go in and just like pick like what you wanted and then just like leave like i felt like i was like stealing it um but really cool i'll do like a proper haul of the bits i got later because i've got some really nice track sets which i definitely didn't need and i did say i don't need them but when they're that soft and that cute like you just can't really say no and i know i'm gonna wear them so definitely worth it absolutely love that shop it's like a second hand um like vintage shop that like reformation host so i didn't find any clothes but i did manage to get a belt to match one of my coachella dress which has been oh my god get on my arm, which has been a little bit of a stress so that's like one box tick good morning guys i know this is probably a strange start to the 
introduction in the morning. I don't think I've ever started one when I'm actually running, but we have to get up and out today. So I'm out. I'm on my morning run. I'm running along the beach. Look at this view. Yeah, up and out. I've got some meetings this morning and then it's Coachella hair prep. I'm so excited. So I'm just doing an eight kilometer before I start my day. I did 10 yesterday and it felt quite tough. So I pulled back the distance a little bit today. Just taking it nice and easy. Okay, means it's time run. Heading back home, guys. This already felt so much nicer than yesterday morning's run. Good morning, probably, guys. I'm really sorry that that was like a weird start to the morning. I <coughs> got up and was just in such a rush to run because I have my hair appointment today, like I mentioned. So I need to be like ready to be on the road straight after my meeting. I also got some new trainers. So you guys know I wear the <sighs> E6 Gel Kyano 29s. Probably my favorite trainer I've ever worn. I've never had any problems with them. I've been wearing them for like well over a year and a half now. And they've released the Kyano 30s. So they kind of like build on what they've already got. So these are still designed for the exact same style of like run that I have. They would support my feet and I ordered them. Ordered them in a six and a half US. So these are a four and a half in the UK. And I put them on my feet this morning and I was like, why? Before I go and jump in the shower, I'm gonna show you the inspo pick for today's hair. It's not too dissimilar from the situation that we have going on now, I don't think. It's just a lot more bronzed. It's like, I will always want my hair to be lighter, but just as far as being like super, I'm like seeing stars right now, what is going on? I need some water. Sorry about that, I thought I was gonna hit the deck for a second then. Oh, anyway. That was me getting in for my run and like just stopping and talking to you. I need to fully stretch. I think I'm just a little bit over the like super blonde. I just want something that looks very like natural and like sun-kissed. And while the 24 inches of hair that I'm having put in will not look very natural, when they are cut after Coachella, they will probably look a little bit more <laughs> natural. But yeah, anyway, I'm rambling on and I need to go because I am in a little bit rushed. I'm gonna shower and then I'll see you guys for hair. Right, I'm ready, I'm showered, I'm raring, actually raring to go to this hair appointment. Really randomly, obviously a second ago I was like, God, I'm seeing stars. I have only ever had this three times in my life and I'm sure like if I've had it, many of other people have had it. And I think it's called an aura migraine. So as I'm talking to you right now, up to about here in my eye, I can't, like my vision is like not gone, like I can still see, but like, the only way to describe it is like there's loads of like squiggly lines and I've had this, yeah, like three times and it will start with like stars, like when I was in the kitchen then and I was like, oh my God, like my vision feels really funny. And then suddenly it will like come across and it's never like taken over the whole eye. It just kind of comes up to here. But like, it's so bizarre because I'm currently, I think what I'm experiencing is a migraine, but I feel fat, like, don't get me wrong. I definitely have a bit of a headache, but it's just like the weirdest thing. And I'm sure like if I've had it, then other people have had it. But the first time it happened, I didn't know what it was. And I thought like I was like, my vision was going on in my eyes because it was just like such a strange and like bizarre sensation. So yeah, I'm experiencing that today, which is fun. The past times it's gone away. One time I had to like lie in a dark room and have a nap because like my headache did get quite bad. So hopefully it's just gonna go away. I think contradictory to my beliefs, what you're supposed to do with a migraine is drink coffee. My sister told me this because coffee like opens up the capillaries because I think a migraine is, I don't know if this is completely wrong. Some of you, if you're doctors or nurses are gonna be sat there like, oh, what is she saying? To my understanding from what my sister has told me, who is not a medical professional, when you have a headache, it's like a restriction of the capillaries in your brain. But when you drink coffee, it opens up those capillaries. So like coffee is good for migraines. But when I'm drinking a coffee and I have a migraine, like I don't feel like I'm doing something good for it. Anyway, that is an absolute ramble. So I'd just tell you what's going on with my eye and my head right now. I have a couple of minutes. So I thought I would just sit and chat to you guys. Kind of like my half marathon plans because number one, I feel like this vlog has been very on the go so far. But my goal, if you were here at the beginning of the year when I did my goal setting video, I had this goal to run a half marathon every single month in a different place in the US, whether that was still within California or in a different state. So that was why I went to Utah and did the five miles because I couldn't do the half marathon. And I feel like I'm definitely in a place where I can start building up my distances again, which is really exciting. So I am hopefully, this is one of these things I can't like be like, guys, I'm doing it because I don't know how my body's gonna react to the increase in distances and I have to take it really carefully, but I am hopefully back on track with 
my plan for my half marathon. So the first half marathon that I will hopefully be running this year, just over six weeks away, which I think is a really good amount of time for me to be able to build up my distance, but like slowly. One thing I have found with my runs recently, and I will always be really honest with you guys, is I just don't feel like my fitness is like up there at the moment. Like when I'm running, like I am finding it quite difficult and I am pushing at a pace that I never used to have to push at. And that's just the reality sometimes of having an injury and having to take that step back. However, something to just like constantly remind myself and remind yourself if you're in the same position is that like, I started with no fitness at one point. I started not even being able to run 2K straight without stopping. And now my version of my fitness not being good is I find it hard to run a 10K, which sometimes you just have to take the like win from the situation. And the beautiful thing about fitness is that it can be built back up. And if you've built it up once, you know how to do it. You've got the mental resilience to do it. And I think that mental fitness that you've got and that mental stamina that you've developed is exactly what carries you through and is exactly how you can just like jump back into it and how it does just click back sometimes because everybody says it's almost like riding a bike like once you've done it once you can do it again and i feel like that is so so true so even though i'm struggling a little bit on some of my runs at the moment i'm just continually reminding myself that actually i've been here before i've actually been in a worse position before and i managed to build up my fitness really well and that's exactly what i'm gonna do again so that's what i'm reminding myself at the moment and the new shades i got from white fox yesterday i really like them i do love my pink ones but i think i just need to stop wearing them every single minute of every single day so meeting's done we're gonna head off get my hair done this is the length that i chopped it to yesterday you know what i don't actually hate it i think inevitably at some point i am gonna be on the lob side of life because I feel like I just see so many girls with like super this is really contradictory because I'm literally about to go and get 24 inches of hair slapped onto my head but anyway let's go because I'm so excited Coachella glow up let's go I'm here right let's say goodbye to the little locks I don't know how to act. I don't know how to behave. I... I'm not gonna lie, as you can see, I've had an outfit change. I feel like when you first get your hair done, loved it in the salon, absolutely loved it. Driving home, loved it, got home, had like a 20 minute identity crisis, but we love it again now. <laughs> I think I just needed to like retouch my makeup, you know, in the hairdresser where they like wash it all off, but I do love it. I think it's just very, it feels very different. It might not look very different, but it definitely feels different. This is so much more of a bronze, and I was definitely a blonde but now we're kind of in this like in between, but it's quite like warm as well, which I really like because I feel like that works with like green eyes better. The length is so fun and I feel like I'm living like my mermaid girly dreams, but it's not gonna stay. Like this is not gonna be practical for running. It is gonna be practical for Coachella because I just have so many like cool hairstyles that I wanna do. And I was like, we just need, we need length to do these. So yeah, this is, the new hair. Maybe I'm being dramatic and it doesn't even look that different, but I'm gonna go meet some of the girls for dinner this evening. So I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. I am so excited. I'm about to go and pick up Luz. I think we get like three hours together because she is a busy, busy girlie with her trip. I literally am so excited. Um, she's just at a physio appointment. So I'm gonna go and collect her from that. And I think we're gonna do lunch and just a little bit of a mooch and like a big catch up. I feel like whenever I see her, we just like word vomit on each other, but we're gonna have to like condense it because we do have <laughs> a limited amount of time. Guys, I feel like I'm on a bit of like a friend come down. Um, honestly, like that was so like, so lovely to lose but I feel a bit like sad now because she's gone. Um, whew. It's just like, it was so nice, but then it was so short and sweet. And then like saying bye, I was like, bye. And then like I got inside and I was just like, oh, I'm not gonna see her for so long now, but we're so good at keeping in contact and she's doing like the speed project tomorrow which i don't know if i mentioned but <laughs> she's running from la to vegas in like a team with like nick bear which is just absolutely incredible and i'm so proud of her and she like to me is not only like my best friend but just like one of the most inspirational people it's so cool to have a friend that is doing such cool and incredible things i'm sure all of you follow her because she is the hybrid girly to be followed but yeah just feeling a little bit like 
now but i've got about an hour and then i'm heading down to the lululemon shake out so we're going to be doing a lululemon run with the team ahead of the 10k run slash like running party that they're throwing on saturday which i'm really excited about i'm gonna take you guys with me one thing that i need to do is go through my pr parcels so i'm gonna grab them and we can look through them together one of my favorite things to do is watch other people open their pr parcels i'm just always so fascinated by like the things people get sent so let's grab mine okay so i've got a couple of these here i realized i didn't actually show you guys what i got from white fox this was one of the sets so i got these shorts and then this hoodie um i love how i was like literally saying how i don't need tracksuits and of course basically all i picked up was tracksuits then i got this zip very nice and of course i had to get some matching shorts just to go with that and that was it that was my do i get four things or five things but so i got oh and then i got a yellow top but i wore that out to dinner the other night i'll pop a photo in here which was so cute we were allowed six things but i couldn't really like decide on a sick thing and jess wanted seven so i was like you know what i'll take one for the team and i'll just get one of the things for you so first pr parcel this is a brand that i have gagged over for oh my god just as long as it started so if you guys know an incredible australian influencer called rachel dylan she was one of the first fitness girlies that i ever followed and she has since opened crop shop <laughs> boutique and their pieces are so nice however the shipping to the uk is slightly pricey so i'd never bought anything when i was in the uk but they have sent me some stuff which is so nice of them and so cool because they just look so cool if you follow any australian influencers like olivia may whose username is like ama and then annabelle rosenfeld i want to say her name is if i've got that wrong i feel really bad but they both wear crop shop boutique all the time and i feel like at the moment they are two of my just favorite influencers in the world like i literally love watching all of their content and they're always wearing it and they always look absolutely incredible so they sent me some pieces so first up we have this sports bra very nice then oh my goodness this color that color is actually to die for and then the matching shorts is this a crop oh like a really cute crop v-neck black top and matching leggings i always feel like you could tell a good brand then i had a delivery from dave's killer bread so this again is another us based brand and they do like high protein breads am i gonna need scissors to get into this oh it's like an easter parcel so they've sent me some rock and rolls organic rolls seeded rolls mocktails no i thought they were alcoholic then i was like that's a bit strange so i've got a watermelon mojito and a grapefruit paloma and then next and probably the one that i am maybe the most excited about is a parcel from the incredible team at honor active who just like honestly absolutely spoil me since i've moved to the us they've been sending me a fair amount of gym kit and it's just so cool because i just love their stuff so much if you guys remember when i did an honor active haul i think it was probably like two years ago now and it's the first time i'd ever tried them and i was always like i don't know what they sew into their clothes but they sew something different into them because that the way they fit is just there isn't a brand in my opinion like it i think they are very very standalone and you can tell do you know what i love about honors you can tell it's designed by women because the designs are just so flattering but also supportive and the quality is amazing like i could talk about honor actually probably for a good few hours so the fact that i've been sent this parcel is just incredible and i'm extremely grateful so we've got some lovely leggings here i'm really excited to wear this one because this you best believe it's going to be worn on so many runs what a cute running vest obsessed as soon as i saw it on instagram i was like that is going on my body for a run this parcel honestly like let me just just for context let me show you like how much stuff that they've sent me like that is so nice of them so these are some of the new t-shirts they've launched i love these these really give me proper like skims vibes that is also such a nice green also got some other leggings to match i actually saw chrissy wearing these on one of her latest instagram posts and her bum looked phenomenal hopefully mine will look just as juicy i've also got the purple or like the lilac everyday bra how beautiful is that that is so cute okay i'm so happy with that there's a few more pieces but it's basically the same things in like different colorways but that is really 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 generous of them and i cannot wait to be wearing those to the gym i just left i didn't even check in with you guys before i left but i'm gonna show you my outfit so i've got a lululemon long sleeve top so sorry if the washing machine's really loud i've got some lululemon shorts on and then oakley's and asics and yeah let's head off i think it's a 5k it's a shake out which i 
feel like I usually around 5k. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I don't know when I'm going. Hopefully I'm going to see some friendly and familiar faces. But if not, hopefully I'll make some new friendly and familiar friends. She cannot stop smiling. Like, I fucking love run clubs, friends, girls, girls that run, all of the above. That was really, really fun. Um, got my bib and my t shirt ready for the 10k on Saturday morning. I thought little on me was like, this is just like a you know, small event, maybe like 200 people, 7,000, 7,000 of us are gonna be running this 10k which is absolutely mind boggling. I'm back. Um, yeah, like I said, that was so much fun. And how insane, the girl that I was running with from Lulu, it was like, we were running, she was talking to me about her marathon. She was like, oh, I've been doing your Strong Girl Society guide. She lives in like Canada, like that, like blows my mind. And I always try like in those moments, like I don't want to be too like over the top about it, but like, I don't think anyone will ever understand like how crazy that is and how much it means to me when somebody says that like they've used one of the guys, like it just blows my mind and she was just saying it so casually and I was like, that's mine, that's my guy. POA, dinner, me and you, we're having an evening in, I'm making some dinner, gonna do a hell of a lot of work, I'm gonna get this apartment spick and span. If my face looks like red and swollen in any certain like areas or points, I, I am such a picker guys, like no wonder I have breakouts, I cannot help myself but pick my face. Anyway, it's dinner time, I look to my fridge, I've got some cauliflower gnocchi, I've got some chicken, I've got some tin tomatoes. That is as adventurous as today's dinner is gonna be. And honestly, to be fair, like that's all I kinda want. Like I just kinda want something really plain and simple. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna throw together. I've got John Mayer in the background. These are the nights that like I live for. Like I love living by myself. I love being single. And like this is just like my happy place. Good morning, guys. First of all, last night's dinner, delish, for something that I threw together in 20 minutes. Chef's kiss. So, gym time, heading off to the gym. So, this week so far, I've done three runs. I obviously came back from Jamaica, so I missed today, so it's Friday. I've done three runs, and I'm gonna do a high rock session today. I've got another run tomorrow. So, because my week has been so cardio heavy. This is gonna be the most amount of runs and probably the most distance that I've run within a week in a long time. I'm not gonna to focus today on like a cardio high rocks workout. So hopefully you guys know high rocks is a fitness competition. It involves a lot of running, burpees. It's very cardiovascular based. My aerobic capacity needs to be at capacity. Like I need to be able to make it through that competition. So a lot of the style of training is like kind of circuit style training. However, because of the fact that I've already done a lot of running this week, I'm gonna to focus today Still on high rocks. I'm still going to be doing some of the high rocks movements, but it's going to be a little bit more weight focused because otherwise I won't get a like heavy. I say heavy because I don't really lift that heavy, but I won't get a heavy weightlifting session in this week. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to take you guys through it, and you can see exactly what I'm getting up to in the gym at the moment. At the moment, workout wise, I'm hitting three to four runs a week and probably two weighted sessions, and a cycle is usually how my structure kind of goes. It feels slightly chaotic. I think my routine still hasn't fully hit, and I don't really know if it will anytime soon. I think being here, there's always something going on. There's always events. I'm kind of traveling around a fair amount at the moment. So I've just been to Utah. I've just been to Jamaica. I'm going away again. I've then got friends here. So for me, having a very structured routine actually isn't very realistic, and that's something that I've kind of had to accept accept that like that is just my reality at the moment and rather than fighting against it I'm just working with it so I'm just putting in my exercise where I can so while it may not be as structured as when I was back in Manchester and it was like Monday run day Tuesday weightlifting Wednesday run day it's just a case of looking at my week as it is and being like right where can I fit everything in and I'm still fitting it all in it just feels a little bit more chaotic than it did before but as I'm stood here I'm 10 weeks out from high rocks 10 weeks and I feel like that is actually a really good chunk of time i have a good running ability just from running in general so i'm not worried about that it's more a case of just practicing the movements feeling strong enough for the movement like the sled pull and the sled push that's like terrifying
terrify me at the moment and also just being able to run on tired legs because i think that is the main thing like i can run the distance but it's running the distance when your legs feel absolutely fried from doing 50 wall balls and burpees so that is basically what i'm going to be working on over the next 10 weeks alongside running and alongside training for my half marathons but it's 9 30 a.m i'm gonna take a stroll head to the gym Did someone say best workout ever? Like, I haven't had a workout that I've either enjoyed that much or pushed that hard on for such a long time. It's such a variety of things that I just loved it. Okay, guys, I've had the whole day, but I haven't really done anything to report today. It has been very, not boring, I've just done a lot of work, but I'm going out for dinner in WeHo with the girlies tonight. I'm being designated driver because I've got the Lululemon run super early. So I'm just getting ready. I've done my hair. This is the top that I'm thinking. It's like this I am Gia long sleeve. So I'm gonna pop this on and then see what I think. I don't think it's a vibe. I don't know. I don't know if it's because I currently have it on with like shorts. Let me put the skirt on. So this is like the little score that goes with it. I feel like I'm like dressing up. No, I can't wear this. <laughs> this looks silly. This skirt is so short. I'm gonna bring it down so you can see this is not appropriate. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can't even turn all the way around, I'll get banned. Yeah, this is not not being worn. Nope, no, no, no. This is the final look. I'm gonna head out and I will show you the yummy food we have. I don't know if I did mention, but we're actually going to Catch LA, which is a really nice like sushi and steak restaurant. I've been to Catch Steak before, but I've never been to Catch LA before. I think that's the difference in the names. One's just a steak restaurant and one's like a steak and sushi. I think I might get that completely wrong, but just looking forward to a good evening and hopefully not getting into bed too late because it is gonna be an early start for the Lululemon 10K and the weather forecast at the moment, guys. It's not looking good, but let's pray the Lululemon gods shine down on us all. Good morning guys, I've got my bagel, it's currently 6am. I'm gonna inhale this and we're gonna go, I'm gonna run this Lulu 10k. I am very excited, but I am very <laughs> tired. I literally got up and I was like, you know what I think I'm going to do today? I think I'm going to run this 10K. I think I'm going to clear my afternoon of any plans I had. I'm going to put my bum on that sofa over there. I think I'm just going to sit down. I think I'm going to watch TV all afternoon. I just fully switch off on this Saturday. Like, 
probably have a nap at some point. I haven't been brave enough to look outside yet, but the weather forecast wasn't looking great today. It was looking like it's gonna be a little bit rainy. However, from the sounds of things, this 10K is absolutely huge. Like the amount of planning and effort and all of the incredible extras that go into it. I just feel like the vibes are gonna be absolutely immaculate. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this, pop the rest of my Lululemon outfit on. I will see you guys at the run. Guys, this has turned into an absolute nightmare. So one thing about LA is LA is gonna break down if it's raining. So I think the rain plus the 7,000 people trying to get to this run, the traffic situation, I've got one mile until the parking. Sorry if you can hear my own screen wrap, it's one mile until the parking and it's gonna take 50 minutes. 50 minutes to drive a mile. <sighs> Update, I have 15 minutes until the run starts. I don't know if you can see people are like getting out of their cars and like walking, but obviously I can't. This is a nightmare, what am I gonna do? Hopefully because of this they they might like delay the start i'm literally for context 0 0.6 miles away from the car park and before anybody's like you should have left earlier i left an hour for a 20 minute drive so i feel like i left a, a good amount of time the run started 20 minutes ago now and i'm still traffic but i'm getting closer guys i made it right i'm in the car park i'm literally gonna pop my bib on and get out there and get this 10k done i feel like i've had a nice rest period in the car i've saved up some energy and now i'm just ready and ready to go guys it is absolutely soaking everybody's in waterproof but the vibes are still really good they've got good like signposts everywhere music's playing so still having a good time even though I'm literally soaked. Three kilometers down, rain is hammering it down but still having a good time. I've just got zero expectations with this. I'm not even looking at my watch besides checking the distance so I actually have no idea what my pace is. Hey guys I can see a giant bridge <laughs> in the head of me. Oh no. Okay so the great thing is if it goes up it's gonna come down and I'm currently on the downhill. It feels just so much nicer. Last kilometers to go, guys. Oh. Woo! Yay! I did it. It's absolutely soaking. Also, so glad. I'm going to for that. Oh my god. Oh my. That was so rainy, but so much fun. That was probably one of the most fun like races I've ever done. My makeup is an absolute mess right now. I look like a little drown rat. I'm so glad that I plaited my hair because I don't even want to imagine what that would have looked like if I hadn't. I literally have mascara all down my eyes. Um, that was probably one of the most fun races I've done and I felt so good running all of that. I think coming off the back of the five miles I did the other week, like I was like, I know I've got this in like the bag and like that pace for me was really good. Like I'm really proud of myself and I've had like a bigger run week this week. I've done four runs, which is the most amount of runs I've done since the beginning of the year. So taking a lot of wins from this week. Sorry if you're super shaky. I'm trying to balance you on the steering wheel right now. Um, But yeah, I'm going to head back now i am gonna go and have a warm coffee a warm breakfast i'm gonna get myself probably in a warm bath have like a nice hair wash give myself a nice blow dry and then you know what i'm gonna chill the hell out for the rest of the weekend i'm gonna put my bum on that sofa and i'm gonna have a cozy rainy day on one final note i will address this because i had a few dms on instagram when i posted a photo in my car the other day this is not my car i am not in my car. I have unfortunately had some engineering and technical issues with my new car that I bought, um, which is very unfortunate and just one of those situations. There was no way of me knowing it had those faults when I bought that car. Like I'm not a technician. It drove fine for the first few weeks and then it's just had a little bit of an issue, but luckily it's under warranty. So it's in the factory and it's being fixed at the moment. So I'm currently in a courtesy car. <laughs> just in case anyone was like, have you already got a new car? Or like, did you get rid of the Jeep? No, the Jeep just died for a minute the jeep is currently being revived so it will be back so yeah the jeep is currently being revived on that note i'm gonna sign the vlog off here and just say thank you so much for choosing to spend this portion of your sunday with me i hope you guys have enjoyed the video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next week